Usually, when someone is born, the doctor will look at the genitalia and assign a male or female sex. Most people identify as their assigned sex at birth, but some feel like their assigned sex does not match who they identify as. This made scientists wonder why is this happening, and so they started studying and comparing the brain of cisgender people, that is, someone that identifies with their sex assigned at birth, and transgender people, someone whose identity differs from the sex assigned at birth. They found that the brain of transgender people are more similar to the gender they identify as. Postmortem studies of male to female transgender brains showed that the interstitial nucleus of the anterior hypothalamus and the central nucleus of the bed of the stria terminalis had sizes similar to the ones found in a female brain. Both of these brain regions play a role in sexual behavior. The brain activity of transgenders also has similarities with the gender they identify with. For example, we know that smelling certain sex hormones will activate the hypothalamus in a sex-differentiated way. A male hypothalamus activates when smelling estrogens, while a female hypothalamus activates when smelling androgens. The hypothalamus of the male to female transgender brain lights up when smelling androgens, similar to females. Interestingly, some parts of their hypothalamus will activate when smelling estrogen, but the effect was limited and different from how a male's hypothalamus would activate. This gives a glimpse that the transgender brain is not all female, but somewhere in between the female and male brains. Transgender adolescents and adults show changes in the structure of the right inferior photooccipital fasciculus. This portion of the brain is involved in the perception of the self. It affects one's experience of body ownership, and structural changes in this area have been linked to gender incongruence and gender dysphoria. fMRI studies in transgender people also show a decreased connectivity in the self-body image network, which indicates that there may be issues with body self-perception. Twin studies have confirmed that gender identity is affected by genetic factors. Up to 62% of the variance in gender dysphoria might be explained by heritability. It is believed that the interaction of multiple genes and gene variants can affect the hormonal levels during brain sexual differentiation. This leads to a more masculine or feminine brain and a higher affinity towards a male or female gender identity. All these findings introduce the concept that the brain has a gender, and that there are structural and functional changes that validate the experience of people identifying with a gender different from their assigned sex at birth. Did you know that sexual orientation is also affected by our biology? Click this video if you want to learn more about what makes someone straight or gay.